second, let me brag on my God. Let me brag on my God. God, God. <laughs> we met, we actually met through, it was a, what, a Friday night? It was raining. Almost mm -hmm. like it. <laughs> it was like raining. And yeah. he just, you know, I looked at him and he looked at me and he was like, okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Hi. Yeah, it was an unorthodox uh, meeting. Right. It's like, oh, yeah, she, I guess she's cool. Well, I guess yeah. he's all right. And, you know, we started to, you know, the more we saw each other, the more we started to, to talk. talk and everything like that. And then he was like, oh, okay. Until he got messed up and thinking that, oh, I, I'm something I'm not. And he just, you know, I, 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 was, I walked away and I said, no, ma'am, no, sir. No, no, we're not going to do that. I know who I am. Bye. You can talk to somebody else. And he chased me yes, all I the did. way down. And you know, like I'm talking about, I walked away. He chased me. Okay. Not all the way down, all the way up. Down and like up. Hill. But I started down, <laughs> and then I went up. And then he was like, Jennifer, please, no, no, look, look, don't, no, we can't end like that. Can I please get your number? I just want to talk. I just want to talk. And I was just like, no, I, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. He was like, no, seriously, I just want to talk to you. Yep. Can you please? Can I please have your number so we can talk? And I said, sure. Okay, mm -hmm. fine. You can have my number. And I just gave him my number. And then from there, we just talked all night. Yeah. Talked and laughed until he fell asleep. And then I hung up the phone. And then he called me back the next day. Hey, my parents who are pastors. This is my dad, Pastor Wilson. This is my mom. This, you know, this is my mom. You know. Y'all need my parents before you can date me because my parents are like, nah, you know, y'all don't school. So, <laughs> and I told him that. He said, okay, I can meet your parents. And my mom was like, oh, hi, how are you doing? And my dad was all like, oh, hi, how are you? Yeah. And then once he left, I don't like him. <laughs> and I'm like, dang, you just met him. I don't like him. I'm like, okay, whatever. So, you know, eventually, you know, down the line, my mom said, hey, that's my son-in-law, and dad was still like, I don't like him. But down the line, my dad come to love him. Now, they're the best of friends, and yeah. he's, so. he's shotgun. We have some yeah. challenges. Our first one. Some. Yeah, some. A lot. A little. This was American Ninja Warrior Cedar. Okay, this... This was more than an obstacle course. I was like, hold on, Lord, I didn't sign up for this. You mean I gotta, like, what is happening? I thought I was supposed to be happy. I'm happy some days and I'm gonna be like, but it's like, <laughs> I was like, what is happening? We are not, I thought we yeah. were connecting in our marriage and we wasn't. Right. We were yelling and arguing every day. We were cutting each other up with our words. We were just going there, angry and just, just not being a married couple. We were just acting like we were enemies. We had to learn how to love each other. Mm. Yeah, and um, and that was part of the learning process. So it ain't all peaches and cream when you, you know, as young couples in these days get married and quickly wanna. Um, Divorce, okay. I would say. Well, yeah, because the divorce Cause of, thing is really hard. Yeah. But you, I mean, the initial thought is, oh, I, I'm married. I'm going to be happy forever. This is my forever person. Yeah. There's never going to be another problem. That is such a lie. Yeah. <laughs> it's, a, it's like, oh, my gosh. I had started thinking. I literally had a question. Is this is this man really for me, God? Is this really what you wanted us to be? Are you with everything? 
this can't be because this, this is not you. This is not you. You are not confusion. God is not the author of confusion, nor is he just a person who, you know, like strife and are no. I was like, no, we had to learn one to communicate. Yep, that's a big part. Yes. And that was hard for me. It was a challenge because at that time I I hadn't really learned how to communicate uh with the wife. I mean, because we all knew, we, this is new when you get married, you know. Um, and communication is very important. I had learned that, and I, I didn't know how to, and uh, without being vocal too much. And you have to pray, you have to learn to uh, communicate. Um, it's a task if, you, if you're not a person that really knew how to communicate, I would say. And I had to learn that with her. And she would tell me all the time, you have to communicate with me. I don't know. And, you know, I'm not, I'm not either. I so I try because I love her and, I, and I'm and i still working on that communicating part, but yeah, we're communicating her. a lot better than what we were when we first originally got married. Love is important. It's the most important, you know, because um, when you love someone, I believe that you, you have to love all of that, who that person is. And trust. You know, and trust. And honesty. And honesty. Keep God, you know, we always got to keep God first. Yes. And no matter what it looks like, you know, we have to trust God in this. I had to trust Him in our relationship. And it's all right to seek help when it's needed because it was a point where we tried everything we could and we had to go seek help. And please talk to somebody because it helps you, one, to bridge a medium between each, each other and it helps you to come together and understand one another, you know, and that's what it's important to understand. Like, understand his feelings and understand him as a man and him. You know, for vice versa, him understanding me as a woman. Yep. So that's it in a snippet. <laughs> and we end up loving each other. We're married to this day. Thank you, Jesus. That's the fitness. We out. Yeah. Wait a second, let me brag on my God.